Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time we did a lot of stuff. Mainly uh, getting the iron boots. And today we are going to be going through the Goron Mountain in order to figure out what the heck is wrong with the Gorons. Now, we begin. Up. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of derp right there. Whoa! I forgot this happened. <laughs> Whoa! That this looks dangerous. Is this the traditional Death Mountain welcome? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was trying to do. Because we need to climb on top of one of these guys. And that will launch us up here. I'm kind of remembering how the controls work, so bear with me for a split second. Alright. There we go. Now this is... Greetings, brother. Pick your hot spring souvenirs right here. <laughs> so, we could actually get some stuff here. Uh, milk. Huh. Stop by whenever you visit the hot springs, brother. I guess they're all just too relaxed at the moment to really give a rat's ass. <laughs> and I don't blame them. Actually, why don't I talk with one of them? Ah, nice and hot, just like I like it. What? What is a human doing here? I thought the elders told us not to let humans near the mountain, but I suppose it's no business of mine. Come into the hot springs and refresh yourself, brother. Yeah, they, they're too busy relaxing to give a rat's ass. Now, before when we were a wolf, these hot vents would push us and prevent us from going forward. With the iron boots, we can actually go through them. And I believe that'll allow us passage over here. I forget what was over here, to be precise. Nothing! It was just a little trick to, uh... To make sure we didn't stray too far or something. Ooh, almost got hit by that. So, let's go ahead and go through here. Don't take the boots off. All right, climb back on up. And once again, we've got more of these vents. So it was just supposed to, tr uh, to teach us in a way. Oh, and I can't walk over it. Okay. Well, we're making good progress, just climbing on up. Oh! Ow! I couldn't time that. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was my fault entirely. Uh, I'm a derp. All right. Ow! You suck. But thankfully, we've now reached the top. And healed up. Alright then, so, without further ado, let's go in.
Well, now, that's not very nice. Enough! Good lord, I, I forgot about the design of these guys. Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. I am a Goron Elder, little human. I am called Co Gor Koron. Because of a certain circumstances, I must lead the Goron tribe in place of, in place of Darbus, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed unless... Unless... <laughs> I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, and we're going back to sumo wrestling. Ooh, big guy. And we've got the iron boots on. We should be able to handle this. Ah! And... Come on, come on. And gotcha! <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> ah. Young warrior, you have a strong will and sharp eyes. Fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them? You have seen it, I would bet. The mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of us elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it, do you understand? But the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed and before our very eyes transformed into an unspeakable monster. He began to rage through the mines, trailing ruin behind him, and the eruption grew more frequent and more severe. We used all our strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to do this to our patriarch, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor of you, young warrior. Go to the aid of Darbus. Make no mistake, the spirits have guided you here. I, Gor Koran, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey. You two, let the young warrior pass. The mines are full of traps and placed to protect the treasures from thieves. And there was the coffee pot. And worse than traps, since the eruption began, foul creatures of all shapes and settle have settled into every corner of the mines. Getting to the Patriarch's location will not be easy. I would, I would prepare your blade, young warrior. All right. Well, <laughs> who would have imagined the elder losing? I know the elder let you in. There's no other way a tiny thing like you could have won. Eh, no, I won. I'm just not revealing my secret. <laughs> Since you are going inside, please rescue our patriarch, brother. Hmm. <laughs> well, here we go. We're going into the next dungeon of the game. The Goron Mines. I don't remember... I remember most of this dungeon. I do recall that it's not my favorite, but we'll see what it has to offer. Ooh, camera acted a little weird there. So, let's go ahead and hop over these lava plumes. 
pretty sure if this was real lava, uh, Link would be melted already. Break that. And this is an iron boots, uh, trap. And it's time, so gotta get through as fast as possible. Let's see. And I believe this is another one. Yep. That takes care of that, uh, one. Ah! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Dang it, Link! Don't be a dumbass. Oh, and we're back at the beginning. Lovely. <laughs> okay, I got a little overeager. That is entirely my fault. Uh, I hate areas like this. But I'm enjoying myself. All right, now wait patiently. I'm not in a rush. What is up with me today? Okay, next time aim the camera properly. Or try a different route. It's a little safer. Alright. Oop. Camera. Okay. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. No! I looked away for a split second! Oh. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. This is not what I was hoping to do today. Dying. Uh. Let me pick up this rock. Okay, no hearts. All right. Alright, now focus, because I was trying to get to this treasure chest. Okay, and it was all for 20 rupees. Not exactly worth it. Well, at least I got a heart back. And now, I can go back here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, it's actually been a while since I've explored these mines, so I actually forgot all the details about it. So, you'll have to forgive me. Ow. Fuck you. Here we go. Ah. There we go. More of these lot of a slugs. Ugh. All right, another switch. Got to get past it. Fucking hell. 
Whew, that was close. Now there's a platform right here that requires the aid of the iron boots. Ah. Well, we made it through the first area finally. There we go. Fully healed. Wait. Is there another one? Okay. Let's go ahead and get through this area. So. Big open mine. And what are these things? Well, we'll find out. For starters, though, I want to go down here, take care of these ugly buggers. And open up this chest, which contains a small key. Very lovely. Break these, because who knows, there might be goodies inside. Ooh, rupees. And let's continue on the other path. Let's see. Oh yeah. This sort of thing. Ooh boy, <laughs> that was a little nerve-wracking, but with that, we can now go through this area properly. Ah, there are these things. Their weakness is their tail. There we go. More lava platforming. Oh boy. And there we go. Oh boy. Alright, one more of them. I do like the design of them. They're kind of cool. So, in order to continue on into that door over there, we've got to pull this, but we can't really do it without the iron boots, if I recall right. Right. So now, we just platform and roll into here. Ooh. Well now, this is curious. So, the old water temple trick of iron boots. We have an air meter, and we have a switch here. That will bring us to this weird metal material that's basically magnetic. And we can now walk. Man, Link is strong in order to be able to do this. Oh, hey! A Goron Elder. Ah, uh, I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human! Word has come to me of you, and if Kor Goron... Uh, if Gor Koron has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron Elders. Goromoto is my name. If you are heroic, young human. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. We got a key shard. You need all three key shards to return the big key to its original shape. That is one of the key shards that, when merged together, form the key to the room where Darvis is being held. Here's our patriarch. 
The key is split in three pieces. Each of us elders keeps a piece. You must hurry to the other elders. All right, all right, fair enough. And we've got some other treasures in here, so let's go ahead and start looting. First off, the dungeon map, which is good to have. Next up, right here, is more rupees. Lovely. So, this is the gimmick of the uh, mines. We're going to be using magnets to go to weird terrain using the iron boots. And we're also going to be finding, uh... Oh, you. Finding, uh, Goron, <laughs> Goron elders. Oh, lucky. It's... The thing is back. Phew! Free at last. Gracious, you're the nice fellow who helped me the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? Oh, you're, I'll be right with you. So if you want to warp out, just let me know. So we're reunited with Uku. This kind character will let you out of the dungeon. Still freaky as fuck. And give me that rupee. All right. With that out of the way, let's... Go this way. All we need to do is just walk onto it and the mag magnets will take care of it for us. Ooh, slippery. But we're okay. We can just go through this door and be okay. Whoop. Now this is going to be interesting. We have all sorts of... We have a sort of a maze here. I think there's something up here, I don't recall. The only uh, thing about it is that you're pretty slow up here. Yes, I was right. And in this chest, we've got a piece of heart, and we now have a new heart container. Lovely. It's so gonna need that. So now. We've got to get moving. Shame you can't roll while uh, magnetized. But you can kind of see the simple path on the map. As long as you follow that, you should be good. Alright, so I'm going to kind of speed this up because it's going to take a little while. Alright, there we go. And now we can just go through right here. And we're in the upper area now. Alrighty. So we got more of these, uh... Boko Blends, or whatever they are called. Be gone. Alright. And with that, we sit on this to activate this magnet. Amazing technology. Which will move us around the map. All we need to do is don our iron boots. And 
can be brought over here. Lovely. Be on, be gone. And once again, we require the aid of another magnet. of them. And we seem to be good. Let's go ahead and head on to in here. Oh! Lovely. Tektites. I know this monster. But, uh... I just took a look at the time, and we've been in here for quite a little bit. We've done quite a bit, actually. So, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and explore more of these mines and see what awaits us. So, until then, this has been Ray Moonwolf, signing out. Later, guys, and have a good day.